All right, Ford. Ford of Pompano Beach. If you can see over there. Ford of Pompano Beach seems to be in the same place as the rest of them. They're just don't have that many cars. I counted maybe three new ones up on the end over there. Got another new one here. This is a 21. I haven't seen any 22s yet. It's an Escape. 35,000 for an Escape here. Oh, they might have a new Explorer right here. Be an XLT. They didn't really want us to film there. I don't know what's going on. He says, can you call corporate? I said, no. I said, I'm not into calling that. I go, we've been to a few places. They just let us walk around and film, and I don't know. They seem to be protective. One thing I noticed here, though, is that uh, they really don't have any window stickers in any of the cars, and they seem to be marked up. A lot of the cars seem to be marked up. See, we got an F-150 here, a STX base model. I'll look to see what the, what year this is. It's brand new. It's a 22. $46,000. Don't understand what's going on here. Fred the Ford here in Pompano. We'll keep walking around, just making it look good. Here are the Lincolns. We're on the side of the, the 1A, the, the 1, not the 1A, the 1. These are all used. Nothing new here. He said he had 50 new cars. I'm having a hard time believing him. I'm having a real hard time believing that he's got 50 new cars here in the yard. So all what I've seen is three new Lincolns here, maybe two on the other side. I haven't seen what they were talking about. 55 new cars. We'll go look on the other side. I'll give you guys a final count. I'll go ask what's going on. I think uh, they might be uh, Tell me a little fib here about having 55 new cars. A lot of used cars. Not many new cars, new cars though. Okay, we'll keep walking around, we'll look and see. I think it might be a, an aviator over here. We'll walk over and take a look and see if that is an aviator. It looks like it might be brand new. No, that's not an aviator. That's gonna be quite a Corsair. I don't see no aviators, no navigators. Here's a new one. No window stickers though. No window stickers at all. Let's walk over here in the used department, see what's going on. Oh, this might be a different place. This is a, a different place. This is a neighbor used auto at the neighbor's place. Yeah, all right, so we'll walk back over and see what's going on over here. Look what we got walking around here. <laughs> Only in Florida would you see stuff like this. <laughs> Isn't that something? We'll look out back, see what they got going on here. Here's the first aviator we find. It's an electric one, but it's somebody's because it has a license plate on it. And the license plate is good. This seems to be all just used stuff they have out back here. I don't know if it's not ready for sale or what's going on or if it's just, they can't be sending them all to auction because there's a, people run out of cars. Here's a Shelby GT350. Let's see if it, this is plated, this is a trade-in or what this is. All right. I don't know what all this stuff is back here. If it's just stuff that had been traded in or what. Anyway, we'll keep looking around. 
There's a lot of it. A yellow GT. Yeah, right, we'll keep walking around here. Let's see what we got. Oh, here's an aviator, another electric one, a hybrid. Must be somebody. He's got a. Maybe these out back here are the cars that are. Here's another one from New York. It's a pickup. A lot of the trucks here have big wheels on them. There's a Raptor. Navigator with a little bit of damage. If I see somebody around, I'll ask them what all this stuff is back here. I'm in the back, out back of the garage, just walking around, looking at things. I guess the body shop is back here. Look at this old navigator. Up in Canada, where we're from, a white navigator like this wouldn't be this clean. This is pretty clean. Hasn't been washed or anything, but no rust or anything. Looks like it's been sitting there for a while. Yeah, you see that sign right there it says body shop. Got some kind of a car wash here. See right there. Body shop exit. Got some fleet vehicles here. I guess this would be the dealer prep area. They're preparing trucks here, I guess, in Milwaukee. Brand new trucks, they're putting the stickers on them. There's about four or five of these. I'm just walking around here with the camera. They didn't really want us to film around here. I don't know why. We got a GT350 sitting in the back there. Here's a Thunderbird. Navigator over there. Seems to be a place where they work on the cars here. Oh, I got one new one here. One new vehicle, yeah, this one here is a, not new on the left here, but this one here is new. Here is a Expedition, 78,000, a Max. Got some vehicles out back, got the truck with the big wheels again. Couple commercial trucks. Got some nice palm trees here. We're up on the roof, we're on the roof of the building here. I guess must be when this place is booming. When this place is rolling, when all the cars, they have all the cars they can have, they must have to fill it up up here with cars. Now there's maybe 10 cars up here. Looks like they could probably put around 100, 150 cars up here. So here's some uh, new stuff, I guess. Yeah, this looks like new stuff. So there's a uh, one, Two, three, four, five, six. There's nine new cars up here. The air conditioner just went off. Nine cars up here. Beautiful weather though. I don't miss it. Coming from where we were in Canada where it was minus 30 when we left and that's minus 30 Celsius, like minus 12 Fahrenheit. Okay, here's a 21, a lot of 21s. I haven't noticed a lot of 22s. Just a base pickup, 38,000 work truck, steel wheels. So here's the roof, that roof there is of where the showroom and offices were. So this must be like a garage right here. Now let's walk over here. You got one Lincoln, and you got an Explorer and another F-150 sitting beside it. It seems like they're all brand new. This one here, I don't know if this one's new. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the stickers in the window on the other side. And you got one right here, Explorer. 2022 Explorer. 44,000, was this an XLT? It's got leather. Let's look, see what it is. XLT, 44 grand, pretty good. Pretty good. Here's an F-150, no stickers in the window. All right, 
Let's go down to the bottom, see what's going on down here. Let me look over the side, see if I can get a shot of this place. Yeah, not really. All right, continue walking around. All right, I guess that's where all the parts are dropped off. For all the parts department, good morning. All the parts are dropped off right here. All right, we'll go walk around. I got a truck right here, just dropped off a bunch of parts. Go walk around out front. More used cars. I think they're becoming like a used car lot. Another place here where you can work on cars. A lot of places where you can work on cars outside. This must be the detailing bay here for the cars. Detail everything, make it look good. Even got a Jeep here. Yeah, so there really isn't much around here. It's all used cars, not much for new cars. Utility truck, like what we have. Brand new though. Brand new truck. Yeah, we got a couple pickups here, a couple F-150s. Got one here written, Rocky Ridge. See up in the window there. The big wheels. It's got the the step, electric step, so you can go it up and down. It sits pretty high. I don't know what size wheels these are. Let me take a quick look. 35, 35 inch, 22 inch, 35, 22. That Rocky Ridge, never heard of that. Must be something here in the south that they have.